Hello guys, welcome to my channel Cyber Tech Science. Today I am going to teach you how to code dynamic stack in C language. We will be using Visual Studio code and compile the program. And first, let me give you a brief idea what is stack. Let me open my blog. Stack is a data structure in which insertion and deletion is done from a same end called the top. It maintains a leaf order. See, this is the top position where, where removal of the item and insertion of the item are only done at this position which is called the top. It means the element which is inserted last is the first one to be deleted. The block has the code of dynamic stack in three different languages. Java, in Java, in Python, and in C. The link of this blog post will be provided in the description. Please check out this blog for code and information about stack. Now let's start coding dynamic stack in C. Let me open my Visual Studio. Now we will start by importing libraries. We will write as include. First we have imported the standard input output header file. Now we will import the standard library file. Now we will create a stack. We have first declared a structure which will have two elements. It will have a value which will contain the value of the stack and it will have a reference called next. But this next will do it will carry the location of the second second node we are using stack as we are making it a dynamics stack Here we are initializing a top pointer which will point to the topmost element of the stack and insertion and deletion will be done from this end. At first we have initialized this top with none as there is no value yet in the stack. Then we will start declaring our functions. Push element function will push an element in the stack. Pop element function will remove an element from the stack. Void display stack. This function will display all the element of the stack. This function will display the topmost element of the stack. Now let us write the main function. We have declared a variable choice which will contain the user choice number. Now give the user some options. If the user want to post an element, he need to enter 1.
if the user wants to pop an element he need to enter 2 if the user want to in display or the topmost element he need to enter 3 And if we if we need to display all the element of the stack, we need to enter four. And if finally we need to quit from the program, we need to enter zero. Let us user is choice we will store the choice variable in the variable choice now let us use switch case. Case 1. If the user enters 1, he needs he wants to post an element to the stack, so we will call the post element function. We will write this function soon. If the user types 2, pop function will be called and one element will be deleted from the stack. If the user types 3, we will display the topmost element of the stack. If the user types 4, we will display all the element of the stack. If the user types 0, we will exit from the existing loop. So we will write exit of 0. And finally, if the user sign th if the user types something else, we will display the following message that wrong input. Please try. Now let's start writing the push function. Here we are declaring some variables.
we have initialized the stack with a temporary node called the temp here. Now we will dynamically allocate a single large block of memory with the size of the stack. So we have dynamically allocated some memory to the temp variable. Now let us ask the user for the input, input number. we will store the user given number in the variable num now we are assigning the temp value part with the user given number like temp value will contain the number and we will make this node as the first node so temp next should point to the top top element as it is the first first node and top was initialized to null so temp of next will be initialized to null and now temp should become top as it is the latest element to be inserted in the stack. Now let us slide the pop function. We have initialized a stack with a temporary node called the temp as we have done in the push function. So before deleting a node, we need to check if the stack is empty or not. So we will print if the top is null we will print that the stack is empty if not what we will do now so we will initialize the temp variable with the top value we will print the value of the temp as it is the value we will going to delete Now top will be top next. The top now contain the location of the next step and finally we will see temp. So the pop, pop element 
function is completed and now we will write the display top function which will display the topmost element So the first thing here also we need to check if the stack is empty or not. So if top is null, we'll print that stack is empty. So there will be no top value. Let's give it a new line. Else, we will print the top element. So we will print the value of the top. Now we will display, write the display stack function which will display all the element of the stack. Now, if the top is null, that means stack is empty, so we will check it. We will print that stack is empty. we need to print the whole stack so what we will do we will loop through the temp till it is not null and print the value by moving through the nodes So we will print temp value. Now after printing the node we need to move to the next node. So we will write temp equal to temp next. So now the code has been completed. We will save the code and let, let us compile the code. Here I am using GCC compiler. I will open a new terminal. New terminal has been opened and I will write GCC and the name of my program stat.c. is compiling it has been compiled after it is successful compile it it will generate a a.exe file here you, you can see that an a.exe file is been generated we need to run the exe file to run the code so what we will do here we will type dot slash as we are in the same folder a.exe and we will press enter and it, it is giving us the choice. So 
what we will do let's en enter one and insert a new element we have entered one it is asking the value to be inserted let's give it 10 again enter one and insert 20 again enter one and insert 30 so we have inserted 10 20 30 let display the element let give it try let enter choice 4 to display all the element so there was a small bug we need to add a line here we need to initialize them with so here it is done let us save the program and let us compile it one more time we need to delete this exe file so that it can create a new exe file now open a new terminal and type gcc and program name so it has created a new exe file then let's run the exe file let's enter 1 enter 10 let again enter 1 20 let again enter 1 30 let us now view the element so you can see here 30 20 and 40 30 is the latest element that is inserted so it is in the top now let's enter 2 you can see the pop value is 30 as 30 is in the top 30 is D. So, so now the top element should be 20 as, uh, as 30 is de deleted so let us check we, we need to display the top element the top of the element is 20 so we have done thank you guys if you like my video please do like my video subscribe my channel for more video on data structure coding and data science if you have any question please feel free to reach out to me via my mail which i will provide in the description or comment in the comment section and if you need the code and no more please read my blog the link will be in this description thank you and enjoy coding